So, I made a decision. I don't exactly know how I feel about this. So I'm going to take it easy and slow. It's when I was drinking in the last like videos a few videos ago from however I edit them. It's still the same day. Actually. And since it is the same day still, I was thinking because I just what I did is I took a nap and woke up and felt sober and good because I think that was fine. I'm going to because it is the same day, and I made this my drinking day, and I really didn't drink much, I'm just going to have these two right here. I'm not going to have anything else but these two right here, and they are um, 100 proof, and they're just over a shot apiece. So together, it's probably three shots. I don't think it's going to be that bad. Now, these are the two nastiest ones humanly possible. Pineapple and watermelon. Now they smell good, but it, because they're hundred proof and they have a lot of flavor on them, for some reason I, I'm assuming they're gonna be gross. Let's go with the worst one of them both. Pineapple. It sounds like it would be good. It smells, and you know it's actually not bad for hundred proof, but it's definitely gonna give me a reaction. So that's what I I want to do because I I really didn't I. It felt l lackluster, because I fell asleep so quickly. See that right there? That's what's over the shot. It's right here. So it's just so it's a shot and a half each one of these. So it's three shots together. Is what I figured out. So we'll take one right now, and we'll continue our little Skyrim path. Although th right now, I'm not really feeling it. I usually only do it if I feel it, but I just I don't know. I just kind of wanted to lean towards it. So. Trying something new, I guess. Because I remember the last one I had, I felt like I was going to puke, but then I felt good, and then I went to bed, woke up, and I felt great. But it's still the same day, so there might be a reason why I feel great and I don't feel hungover yet. But only time will tell. Usually I don't get hungover. I've only ever been hungover one time, and then the second time, semi, and then after that, I've never been hungover again on any of the times I've done it. And 24... But I drank before a certain time. I won't describe that, but I started this once a year tradition potentially a little earlier than most. But later than the Germans. But not much later than the Germans. A bit later than the Germans. So I think in Germany it's 15 and 16. I think. Uh, I was 16. I was 16 when I drank water. Anyways, safety. Don't drink unresponsibly. I feel like this one might be unresponsible. It might be irresponsible, this one. I think it might be. But we'll see. I'm, that's why right now I'm really just kind of thinking about it. I'm feeling my body. I'm trying to understand. I drink a lot of water and I've been eating a lot of food. So it's not really affecting me much right now either. So I have all those things to go because I like to be healthy. But I wanted to have a teeny bit of fun. So. Let's go for it. It smells good. I know it's going to be nasty though. And the way this cup is formed when I drink it. I don't know. The shots don't go down as easy with this cup. You know what? Pineapple wasn't bad. Pineapple wasn't bad. Hold on. I wiped it out with some paper towel and there's some paper still in there. All right. Got my water here and last time I had a beer alongside it, this time I'm gonna be co-oping water. Wait, what, what, what is this? That's a weird symbol how it's glitched, how it says I need to go into somewhere. Are they inside or something?
What? I've never seen them over here. What is this nonsense? Every time I play Skyrim, it's a different. What are they doing up there? Yes, but he escaped. I need to find his portal to Solvengard. And maybe I won't drink any more than that. I'm just doing one to see how I feel not about it. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the voice. Maybe I'm just too cautious. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin. Without the Jarl's help. Both okay, both sides respect the Greybeards, they'll listen. Artanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Are you ready to host it? Okay. Let's go to Ofric Stormcloak first. He'll be an interesting one to talk to. Grab some of my waffles real quick. Let's at least rotate real quick. There we go. Real quick. Real quick. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, looks like that's it. Got to go. I hate this guy. I always try to run from him, but he always catches me eventually. It's no secret. The R he always catches you eventually. Always. There's no getting away from him, no matter how much you try to run. Hopefully passing through those doors will orientate my character straight forward. It did, sweet. Loot your our city with your stink. What are you doing, Carjo? Are you trying to get some of my food? Are you hungry? Then my little kitty's hungry. He's always hungry. He's always a little hungry boy. He's a little hungry munchkin. Always. He just can eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. But I'm watching him. He's not like I'm not making my cat fat. He just eats a lot. He grows. He's big. He's a big cat. He's half Maine Coon, so. I believe we already met. Uh, yes, you were with us at home. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Fair point. Well, you've come to the right place then. Speak with Dalmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of hell. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal path. And what would you have me do? And so if he's not with us, he's against us. Mm. He knows that. They all know that. How long? What I'm thinking is, is usually on my drink day, I, think I, need to I try to just you know message. get the drunk kind of feeling. But I think maybe just because of the the events of how this day is gone Take with how I drink. I'll just take it. Sl I'll take it slower than I ever have before, and just like have a sip like that, and just feel loose. I'm not sleepy this time, so I'm not going to be drowsy and doing this. I was. I was so sleepy. I went out immediately. As soon as I put my head against the pillow, I was put in between videos. I was laying there, and I'm just like, oh, I gotta stay awake. No, oh, but the pillow feels so nice, and then I was like, no, do it. One more. And at the end of the next one, I'd drink one, and I'd be like, oh, this woke me up. And then I'd just slowly be like, oh. <laughs> I'm sweating a little bit now. That shot warmed me up. Let me open up my vest here. 
We know the price of freedom here. We will take that price. I have a message from the Greybeards. I don't want to hear your speech. Whenever I hear this guy, it empowers me. Makes me feel stronger. Makes me feel like I need to fight for a country. They want to negotiate a truth until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards. And the Dragon Attack. Oh, yeah. yeah? I guess you guys just heard me how I talked to my kitty bag. Why'd you meow at me? You're go you're do you want to tell me you're about to go poo poo? That doesn't even make sense. You can go poo poo. Don't ask me. Have fun. Politics be damned. Alduin has returned. The Greybeards won't let the Empire take advantage of you. You speak truly, Dragonborn. Sometimes they grab the business of politics and out of my eyes. Besides, it will be good to see High Rock die Oops. again. You sound like you'll come in peace. Wait, so you'll come in. <coughs> so you'll come to the Peace Council? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to get Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Well put. And look, he kind of still has the Greybeard robes, so I think he was practicing, but he wanted to... I think what his story is, now I don't really know the details on it, but I was thinking about it and I've kind of come to this conclusion now. He's kind of wearing his old Greybeard robes, and I'm assuming he learned the ways of the voice through them, but they didn't know that he still wanted to fight for things. And so what happened with him is... He left the Greybeards to go do politics, and they kind of have a little bit of a stigma between them and the Greybeards just because he wanted to go down and fight. So he's kind of using those words of power that they use just to learn for knowledge and try to be, you know, stay out of those things. And he went and decided, I'm going to meddle with things. It's the way of the voice of power. But which is, which is kind of cool that this game kind of says that words are powerful because they are like when you use a curse word like you say a like they are you got to think about this they are curses all right like not just it's not just a word you say that's vulgar it's an actual curse like you're like it's basically you are putting a you're trying to curse somebody like you're some kind of wizard or like it it's dark it's really dark to curse and that's why i don't curse i don't i may have slipped up a few times in my life a few times i might say a few words but i don't i don't i'm telling you it's evil that's all i gotta say i remember you you were at helgen yeah speak to legged ricka suspect we could use someone like you. Yes, sir. But that's not why I'm here. But yes, sir. <laughs> He'd be insane to drop. Speak with Legged Ricka. She will determine... No, no, no. I have a message from the Greybeards, though. What do those old hermits want with me? They're conveying a peace council at Hyah Rothgard. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. We need a truth... Truths until the dragon menace is dealt with. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. The dragons are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks right now. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. Exactly, so we need to stop it. The best time to negotiate is from a position of strength. Fair enough. We're driving the storm cloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. 
Why won't the Emperor send more of his reinforcements? That's the real question. Emperor can't afford to risk weakening Cyrodiil's defenses. From the Imperial City, our war here but is the Thalmor are helping you guys, so why is the Emerald Dominion doing anything? They're just the bottom left side of the map. Little wizards and warlock elf people that need to be taken care of. Now the Aldrian Dominion. I hate those guys. They they always think that they're so great because uh, everyone chooses a wizard class when they go down there. And they all have their long range, ranged attacks. And there's the dagger fall. They all have all these invisible ninjas. I always like the Ebon Heart. You take an axe and you go out there and fight. Alright, you don't use any of your magical little tricks because you don't know how to fight because you're pathetic. Alright? And we'll crush you. Even if you have all those little magical little advantages like you're some kind of... I don't even know if that I don't know if that's a bad word to say or not. All those little twinks. Right? Is that a bad word? Is that a slur? I don't know. Did I use it like a slur? Yeah. But do I understand what I said? Not really. So I <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Works out. If you don't understand what you're saying, then it doesn't really compute, so can't really get mad if I don't know what I'm saying or understand it fully. But if you are upset, I mean, you can always comment. Tell me what, if that was upsetting somehow. You always gotta teach people, alright? Always gotta teach them. You can't just be like, oh, he said this? Alright, time to kill and murder him and bury him in a grave because he said something that he didn't understand. No, 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 no. Anyone that does that, you're far more evil than. Alright? It's not passion. You're evil at that point if you have to think that you have to go that far. To like cancel someone if they said something they didn't understand. Or if they said something, it doesn't even matter because you should be able to say what you want. It doesn't. As long as they're not hurting anybody. And I don't care if words hurt you. I mean, if they're not physically hurting people. If they're not going out of their way to pursue certain things that hurt people, it doesn't matter what they say. You're more evil if you try to hurt their lives. And target them because they said something you didn't disagree with. That's all I gotta say. Might be controversial, might not be, but I think people should be free to be ignorant, and people should teach those people and not be evil and try to hurt them because they are either ignorant or opposing views. Because you're not always ignorant with what you what you are saying. Maybe that's just your side of the story, and that's fine too. Don't worry, I'll get to... I'll get... Don't worry, I'll get them to agree to peace. peace? I doubt it. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. But regrets are pointless. Take your seat. I wish I could just be like, you know what, I know this stresses you out. Let me give you a hug, Mr. Grandpa. Look, you're doing a good thing. Alright, you're the gray beards. you want to stay out of it. We're just trying to get peace true to it. This, is, this couldn't be any more of neutral. All right, because you guys want to stay neutral. We're just trying to neutralize them and make them neutral for now. So we're actually trying to make them more like you, not the other way around. Oh. Of course, why are the, why are the blades here? What are you doing here? No one invited you. They just wanted to be part of it because they're just like, they feel important, but they're not. All right, you two, you're, you're not that guy and you're not that girl, sorry. You're not. Look, look, look at that dumb little expression you got on your face. Can you close your mouth? Uh, very well. Are you being bad, Cargo? Uh, very well. <laughs> They're little robes. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I don't know why that was funny. Oh, everybody's already here. Already hanging out. Why is my kitty being bad? Why are you being bad? Oh, get. 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 Bad. Don't be bad, my kitty. Oh, no. Not right now. You can wait and be patient. 
You can wait and be patient. Everybody sit down. Hey, Balgriff is here, sweet. Oh, a Thalmor? And that is kind of insulting they brought them, because they only brought them two selves. You're right, the Thalmor have no business here. They're not part of Skyrim, they're part of the Admiral Dominion. He's actually kind of right. At least the Imperials are a little bit different, because they're the ones invading and trying to take over. But the Thalmor, they don't have no business here. I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Enjoy your pet. The Thalmor will speak with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering. It's because... They're trying to fight to be take over Skyrim, right? And the other ones are family, so they but they both have their own things. But the Thalmor, they're just third party in this place. They don't they don't need to be here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's counsel, Thalmor. Why she's standing up and walking around? Sit on down. Sorry. Sit on down. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? Lady, go ahead and take a seat. You're gonna bother me and not take a seat? You know what, I don't even want to look at you right now. You can just go back to home or whatever. I don't even have a home. Just go back to wherever you go. Wow, this is an interesting Thanksgiving dinner right here. If they want Markarth, they can have Riften. Dawnstar. Dawnstar is kind of just a wasteland. I feel like Riften isn't bad. It's really not bad, because Markarth is so fortified, at least they get the money thing and they get the fortification, so those, those two are kind of equals. How's that? You can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. What do you mean? Riften's good. You'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you 
Now that I hear him say that, I might team up with Ofric in the end. <laughs> Why do they gotta stand up? What's what's the point of standing up when you're talking? Can he not just sit? He is with me, and I you know what? I gotta stand up now. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned. The world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your point. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has a soft enough end. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Torn bone. Where will these demands end? I'm listening. We want compensation for the massacre at Cartwaster. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your butchery at... All the blood spilled in war is on your head. So, Dragonborn. What do you say? Ulfric should compensate for... Karth Wasten? Who's to say what happened... Wait, who's to say what happened at Karth... I don't... I, I wasn't paying attention. I was listening, but I wasn't paying attention. Well said. If they get Mark Karth, then that makes sense. For your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric... General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Rifter. The Stormcloaks will pay Maven Blackbriar. She's gonna like that I did that. You both agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Alistair? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up. I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. It's interesting because it's a civil war. The civil wars are always... There's always something weird about them. So they're, they're different than regular wars. They're not common. They're rare. They are something special. There we go. Why does it want me to talk to this guy? I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. Turns out he's a dragon, but he helped me. All well and good, but did you know that he was Alduin's chief lieutenant in ancient times, responsible for terrible atrocities? Okay, but it's been in the past now. He's different now. It doesn't matter. Justice does not count. The blades have been hunting him for some It's not justice if you if they're diff if they've baby. changed. And then the Emperor. Justice, justice only makes sense done. if you're Until if it's being achieved to the person that did it. But if they have changed, that's no longer the person that did it. That's a different man standing there. That's what I have to say. I anticipate doesn't matter what horrible, foul things you've done. Busy in the library of 
and some may be horrible, but I think that if you change, then then uh, then I don't know. I think if you change, you're a different man now. You're not that person. No more. I believe I've identified it's not part of you. There's always going to be mistakes, different ways. Maybe he thought it was right, and then he just took enough time to realize how wrong it was. And that change of heart is a change of person. A change of person is a different person. I don't know, don't something like see? that. See what just one little bit of alcohol does? It makes me feel a little more normal, and I'm able to think properly without stuttering and all of that. I don't know what it is. My body's, my body must just be lacking something that, I think it's because I need vitamin D, I think. Whenever I go to the hospital and get a blood check, they say, you have zero vitamin D. Zero. <laughs> They're like, you need it. You need to take it. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue me this time. After your victory over all of us, I think it very I think every, I think forgiveness is something that should be given and there's so many different different ways that you could do that but maybe I just forgive too easily I mean I have a really bad time on holding grudges that's probably my biggest weakness is that I'm very quick to forgive you but I won't forget it but I won't treat you no different but I won't want to be a part of those things sometimes. Oops. I don't know. It depends on the situation. Basically, you can wrong me, and I'll get so upset and just think about it. I'm just like, that dirty, filthy snake. And then as soon as I see their face, whoever it is, I see the person, and I'm just like, I, I, the anger leaves. I completely forget it. I don't know what I don't know what causes that, but as soon as I see someone's face, I guess my heart just bleeds for people, I guess. I don't know what it is. That's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. It's just me. That's just who I am. I can't help it. I got my flaws. Got my whatever the good thing is that you say the, the good side. Whatever the opposite of flaws is <laughs> I have, have those two. I have my cons and pros. I feel like I'm pretty rare, rare, aware of them, but some of them I, 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 I am not good at controlling. We're but I try. Just say the word. Sometimes I just need to be reminded. Um, okay. Are you ready to spring the trap on the dragons? As I am. My men stand ready. I'm ready. Let's go. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. The great porch. <laughs> The great porch. <laughs> this is their porch. It just kind of sucks that this whole castle's made out of wood, but they do got a lot of stone in here. As you can see, this is the area that um, the dragons will come, but it has a giant wood roof that would lead to the rest of it. But the majority of all of the fire, I mean, there, there's a lot of stone in this area. I mean, it's bothering me that this the thing that holds them down is wood. There is this, but... You just gotta think about how hard it is to light stuff. Like, if you took a flamethrower, well, I guess napalm would be different. But if you took, like, a flamethrower that wasn't, like, stick and burn, just like, you just, like, a blowtorch or something, it'd take a while to start to get this to light, and then it would have to burn for a while before anything. So, it's not too bad. Like, if it's solid wood and, like, lacquered up, and I know they lacquered things now on here, but. Yeah, but it is a little bit wood up there, but as long as the dragon's kind of burning, the the main thing that would burn are these wood things right here if they hit them, and maybe the door if it went there, but it is kind of stone. But it is kind of odd that this whole castle is mainly wood when it's supposed to trap dragons, but the trapping dragon spot is a bit stony, so it works. It works out. It works out. It has its cons, it has its pros. You know what I'm saying? I hope you do. Call dragon, snow hunter wings. I think I might have to do that multiple times. Well, look at the bar at the top. It's like a weird blue. I like that. I wish it was always blue like that. That's way cooler than white. Nice light blue. 
Okay. Dragon Rend. No, why'd I waste that? He's such a cool, like, red. Whoa! He's gone! He's gone! Poor guy. At least he'll, it's a fun trip, but you're not gonna survive it. Shout, 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 I was pressing the wrong button. There we go. I did not mean to push any of those buttons. Come on, over here. Get the dragon in here. Get him in here. Get him in here. Get him. Yeah, let's go. Easy. Freak out all you want. Who's still slapping him? What's going on? Hold on, I want to try pure sound real quick. I'm on bass, but I think pure sound will make the voices clear. It does. I still, whenever I see him, I see these as eyes for some reason. I still see it. It's usually because I talk to him this close is why. You're telling me where to find Alduin? Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skuldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. You promise to serve me? Um, serve you? No. Need it. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Grossis. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova, but without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafen. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. We seem to have an impasse then. You expect me to take your word for that? Fine, I'll set you free if you promise to take me to Skull Dolphin. He's one of the coolest looking dragons though too, that are like alternate. Look at that. He has such a cool face. Can I just scream up there to free the dragon?
creepy tell. How do I get up there? Oh, it must be behind the door here, kind of, or behind this little lip. Yes, I'm sure. Like, okay, I'll try to step out of here peacefully. That wizard was talking crap. I don't know who it was. That Ferengard was Ferengard being douchebag? I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? I'm ready. Warp me up, Morty. And here we go, and I leveled up too, which is weird because I don't know how I just got XP. And just like that, we're gone. Just like that. This is as far as I can take you. I will look for your return. I just want to see that side of your face. Stop looking at me. Goodness. Look at that. He's so cool looking. Even though I can just use the shout to call him to help me again. Before anything. Yeah, I'd never leveled up. It was just the sound effect. Dang. There's dragons and stuff here. What type of dragon is that? Don't tell me that's an elder dragon. Okay, it's just a regular dragon. He's just brown. Oh, he's so accurate. Although music. As we're approaching the grand finale of the game. Oh, it's so good. It's so good hearing that right now. I'm just plowing through him. And the dragon behind me is trying to get me, but I'm ignoring him. My sword's out of juice. That's fine. I don't care. I usually like to loot everything here, but I kind of just want to plow through this. Another dragon. Nope. Sorry, dragons. I'm not dealing with you guys. I don't really care about getting extra shouts or whatever you want to drop. This is great. This is actually really great. You know what? You want to go? That's what I thought, Mr. Dragon. Run away in fear. Run away in fear. You know who you're messing with. You know I'm the Dragonborn. Frost re resistance by 50%. I might want to take that. That's actually a decent... A decent shield to potentially use against these guys. That's right, you drugger. You drugger. He's on drugs. He's a drugger. You missed. How's that make you feel missing like that, huh? I mean, you are undead, so like you can't be that skilled, but still. Slap. Easy. You still all want to fight me? I don't care what my health is at. I'll keep slapping away. I'll keep slapping away. That is a scary amount of health. Hold on. Oops, I drink way too many of those. Wham! Wham, wham, wham. Wham. You missed. Easy. Those bows are hurting me. I don't know which one of you are doing a lot of damage with your bow, but one of you are, and I don't like it. And the music's starting up again. Let's go. 
I don't care what they want. I'll take them all out. I'll take them all out. You want to go? Huh? Try to hit this. Try to hit this. Frost dragons trying their best. The dragons are not a problem right now. The fire one is. The fire dragon definitely was a problem. Oh, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Ooh, Mama Jama. I don't have an enter button on this other keyboard. Oh, it healed me too. Okay, sweet. Any health potions? Poison? Okay, poisons don't really matter to me right now. I don't really care about looting either, but... I guess we can a little bit. And if we need to, I can force an XP bar just to... Make sure we have a bonus action to level up to get health. But we could just level up on our own here if I just keep going. Oh yeah, and we leveled up and I just curb stomped these guys like they were nothing. I know I said I don't want to loot, but now I'm kind of feeling tempted because I'm not out there now. And because I said something about not looting versus if I would have just kept not looting. It's weird because I'm thinking, I, I'll think about it and make the choice not to loot. But as soon as I say it out loud, then I'm like, you know what? I'm going back on it now. I don't, I don't know what that is. Now I know I have to do it. Basically, the things I want to do, if I say I don't want to do them, I really do, then I, I'm just like, okay, you know what? Never mind. I made a mistake with that choice. At least I'm not high level where they're all drugger lords and they like all insta kill me and have daedric weapons and stuff like that. That's always annoying if you come in here at a high level. Oh, you just got decimated. Okay, well. Well. Snake. Oh, Snake needs to be pointing that way. Okay, and then Well needs to be pointing that way. And then this one will just do whatever. Okay, I never noticed the notches on the bottom. Oh, here's a lever. Oh, there we go. Easy. That worked out really nicely. Usually I struggle on those, but I'm able... I'm just really aware right now. Everything that's happening, so it makes it very easy. Now that I got a bigger brain than when I was teeny tiny. Kids just have no advantage on these games at all. Age really, really starts giving you advantages. Experience. Experience gives you... Right, you could be good at something, but you're not going to know all the little things, alright? You may be good, but if you don't got a lot... If someone has more experience than you, even though they're, they could be potentially... If someone's worse than you, and you're better than them, but the worst one has more experience, he could probably whoop you still. Doesn't matter what raw strength you got. Raw talent doesn't mean nothing against experience, because they just know. They're like, okay, you want to act that way? Then I'll just use a strategy that you've never thought of to whoop you. If you just want to do it your way. I don't know, something like that. Oh, not my best work there. You know, interesting thoughts don't have to be... They don't have to be... The shape of... Being the most well thought out thing like there's going to be loopholes to anything somebody says but I always like to bring up interesting thoughts and then you know develop upon them as they go by that's not going to be perfect the first time I say it so yeah the well the eagle and the snakey wakeys
It's like that little owl I saw. He just was so cute and cuddly. I felt like this one would be snake. Let's just switch it to snake. I just forgot that it doesn't automatically queue up when you complete it. You have to pull the lever as well, which is a little bit annoying, but I feel like it's snake. It was. I don't see any snakes anywhere, though. Oh, my back kind of hurts a little bit. That's okay. Just a little pain. A little pain never hurt no one. I guess it does. Pain hurts. That's right, you restless drugger. Just try me. Just try me. Try and just test your luck. You know what I'm saying? You feel like testing me? Well, you shouldn't have even tried to fight me. I don't know why these guys are even helping. Do you realize that Alduin is killing you guys up in your little heaven and you guys are just protecting this area as if he's some kind of hero so calm down the other drugger had at least some intelligence but they really are just hollowed out zombies Oh my goodness, he just got slapped. Oops. Oh crap, I can't really continue forward like that. I'm just gonna save my level up in case of emergency. But if I continue to keep getting tons of XP, I might just use it to get my point in. And we'll go from there. Maybe it was a bad idea to use that because this guy looks like, oh, he's not going to be tough. He's not going to be that tough. Just timing everything right and they can't do a single thing to stop me. No, I took it without looking at what it wanted. Oh my goodness. Diamond Claw, uh, Doggo, Buggo, Drago. Doggo, Buggo, Drago. Easy. Easy peasy. One, two, punch. That's what I like to call those type of moves. Now, isn't there like a, uh... Dragon Priest face thing. I was like, the mask, the mask. And I'm like, oh yeah, Dragon Priest. Is there any of those around here? What the heck kind of shout is here? I forgot what shout's here. I don't really ever do this quest line, so this is a shout I never grab. Storm Call. It's Alduin Shout. How many does it give you? Just the one? Okay, so that's where the third uh, one of those was at. Interesting. I know it's the first one, but it's I usually I don't come here, so it's the, by the time it's there, it's my third one. Stamina potions are all right, but they're definitely the least valuable of the both. That's because the other two can heal you. Stamina doesn't really heal you. There might be some kind of perk or something that converts stamina into health, but I don't know. I wouldn't trust it. You want to go, dragon? Yeah. I'm not going to fight you no more. Have fun with that, Mr. Dragon. That hurts. I'm just going to level up. Screw it. I don't really care. They're annoying me pretty bad right now. Oops. 
One-handed. Can do one-handed power attacks while sprinting. That does double the critical hit. Standing power attacks do 25% bonus damage. The chance to decapitate enemies. I like that because I usually just do the standing ones anyways. And then I would like to see if I can do one more into restoration yet. Whoops, wrong one. Healing spells cure 50% more. That will be nice. Yeah, that's right. Upgrade my restoration. Potions. Because they give me more X or more level up juice. It helps quite a bit. Oh. I'll do this and a healing potion. You want to go, dragon? It's over. It's over for you. It's over for you. I win. Oh, that was close. That was close. That was close. I don't feel like fighting the other dragon, though. Any more magical potions? The frost dragon's not going to be difficult. Oh, no, no, no. I can't fight him. He's low on health, though, so I might be able to. I'm happy I just dodged that. Magic Shouts, Fusro Da would be good, Clear Skies, Becoming Thermal, Fire Breath, Unrelenting Force. I'm gonna try Unrelenting Force. You do so much damage, it's not even fair! I don't think- it's gonna kill me and I'm gonna go back in time to a point where I don't wanna go to... Resist fire, resist cold, strength, heavy armor, warrior, weapons, T, greater soul gem. Sure, just kept swinging. Please tell me it's me getting this kill. Okay. Because I was low enough that it could have done a special on me. I don't think slapping its mouth is really going to kill it. You got to go for the brain. Okay, let's do this. Make sure I'm full up on stuff. That changed the time of day a little bit. Because this guy over here is going to be an absolute nightmare to fight. Oops. I believe that will make the dragon come and help me, right? Hold on, I don't really want to fight this guy right now. He's freaking me out. Why so much damage? Oh, this is not a good spot to be in. I should have saved game after all the nonsense I went through. I don't care. I will. I will pop everything. I don't care. I want to live. I could jump down. I could jump down. I could jump down. 
Oh, I should have jumped down. I should have jumped down. I should have took more stam magic. Okay, quick save right here. Okay, that's fine that he killed me because I quick saved. That's really all that matters. This guy's going to be difficult. Oh, one hour didn't refill my thing? Hold on, hold on. I wanted to get my shouts back. Because that shout was kind of dumb. It didn't really bring him here. Oh, you know what? That might be... That might not be bad. If I use that shout, I can at least get close to him without him doing any damage to me yet, and then I can start getting some hits in. Let's quick save right here now that I'm in a better position and I'm ready. Okay, here we go. stamina screw it come on come on he's just shielding he's just shielding oh my goodness he's so dumb easy you just gave it to me not even difficult what's that mask help me with plus 10 50 Magicka, Destruction, Restoration spells cost less. That is perfect, I'll take it. I lose one of my bonuses for having a matching set, if I have that. Put his little Dragon Priest thing down. There's a dragon up there watching me, which is kind of weird. Oh, there's another dragon. There's a few dragons watching. What? That's kind of weird. Alright, here we go. The final boss fight of the entire game. We have finally made it. And I'm going to end it right here, so I hope you guys all enjoyed leave a like subscribe if you're new and um i'll see you guys when we're fighting it